How is this spring different from maybe the past couple of springs? You know, not as much of the quarterback competition. You know, with you the guy. I mean, I've only been here for one spring, so um, is is definitely good going through a spring to know what's getting thrown at you and know what's going on and then obviously being being the guy rather than being a quarterback of the team that helps a lot so I mean that just helps with just your, your command presence I mean obviously a quarterback always has command presence but when you're known as the starter you have more command presence with the whole team so it's definitely it's definitely good from that stint and it's definitely good being here in spring knowing what's going to go on knowing how a spring unfolds here and knowing what the coaches are looking for. How much more responsibility do you feel though in terms of being a leader and stuff but saying you kind of want a CEO quarterback how much responsibility is there for you to kind of be that leader? I mean there's always the responsibility to be a leader I've always taken that responsibility upon myself I've been a leader since the day I got here and that will continue um, throughout my stint here but um, my goal is to, to push this team and lead this team through the spring and into the fall and this spring we, we definitely can take a lot of steps forward as an offense and as a team as a whole so my goal is to push this team as hard as I can through the 15 practices we have. Like say he's looking for somebody to own the team. He's looking for you to own the team. What does that look like to you? I mean, I, I feel like I've demonstrated that, um, but it just it's just a guy who has command presence with all his teammates, a guy who knows all his teammates on a first-name basis and has a relationship. And once you have a relationship with your teammates, you're able to build upon that on the field, um, whether you're coaching them, whether you're critiquing them. I mean, it, it goes a long way once you establish a relationship with that. So, I mean, owning the team just means the team knows you're the guy, knows you're the starting quarterback, and, and they know what to look for from you, and, and you demand that out of them. How I'm, do you demonstrate that, though? I mean, just how do you build I mean, build you just them? you hold your teammates accountable. I mean, everything I do and, and I preach, I have to obviously do it on and off the field, and I hold them accountable to that as well. So I'm just holding them accountable and pushing them to be the best players that they can be and just staying on them consistently to get the best out of them. How eager were you, how eager were you to get out there today and, and kind of, I guess, move, you know, kind of show how Ethan Bruno is a leader in this setting as opposed to in the offseason when maybe it's... I mean, I was just eager to get back on the field, just get back out there playing the game I love. I know everyone was. Get back out there competing, competing as a defense. I mean, you know, the tensions build up in the off seasons with the rivalry, so it's great to get back out there competing and showing where, we, where we've taken steps forward this off season. What are you more comfortable doing, I guess, as a leader than maybe you were a year ago? I mean, in what ways might you, you know, be more comfortable holding somebody accountable that last year you might not have, you know, wanted to step on somebody's toes? I mean, um, just when you're, when you're starting quarterback, obviously people hold you to a higher standard and just being able to, to um, demand more out of them, you know, just staying on them um, when they have a bad rep, just getting on them to have a better rep the next time, continue to grow and, and not stay stagnant in their skill set and in their um, knowledge of the offense, but continue moving forward, continue to take steps forward with both their knowledge and their talents on the field. Josh, what are your, Last first, one, what are your first impressions about Quentin and Juwan? They had very good days. I mean, it was, I remember when I was a freshman, I, I know exactly what it's like to get thrown in the fire for your first practice. So they did a very good job of showing that they understand the concepts that we put in this winter. So it'd be definitely great to see them grow throughout this offseason. And they definitely have a high ceiling. So it's definitely good to see them out there today competing and, and ripping it. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thank no you. Problem.